Every parent will tell you that they love their child, that they want to give their child the best foundation, the best possible start to life. But how can we do this if we don't even know how we are affecting and influencing them? How our parenting habits and techniques and methods and basically our parenting style is impacting the development of the personality of the child. We need a model that can help us to understand this. A model that reduces the complexity and that's practical and useful and that makes things easier for us. And so the model that I've developed is based on the work of three generations of brilliant female psychologists, from Karen Horney to Mary Ainsworth, Mary Main to Diana Baumrein to Susan M. Johnson. And if you haven't heard of these ladies, don't stress, because the model speaks for itself. It's simple, it's intuitive, and it's brilliant. You'll see. The core of it is how parenting styles shape attachment styles, which become relationship styles and personality styles. And the essence of it is how emotional self-regulation shapes social intelligence. When a baby is upset, all she can do is cry. And it's the actions of mommy dearest that solves the problem and addresses the need whether that's hunger or a full nappy or discomfort or hot or cold or whatever it is, the responsiveness of the mother resolves the stress and the distress and restores calm and joy and in the process builds the neural networks and comfort pathways that the child is going to use later in life to calm herself down, to express her emotions, to communicate and relate to other people and to have her needs met. Most parents will also tell you that they would like their child to be successful, to do well for themselves and to achieve something in life. And so we try to guide and encourage them to do well at school and to get the best grades. But there's so much more to it. You know, the real movers and shakers and the game changers, they are high in self-esteem and social intelligence and they are intrinsically motivated. So how do I intrinsically motivate my child? And how do I instill conscientiousness? If I want my kid to be calm, confident, friendly, adventurous, what does this require of me? Take me to the place you can feel The can see, oh please, oh please, oh please So the experts are telling us that relationships shape our brains that at every moment your child's neurons are reaching out and making thousands of connections based on the child's experiences and choices, emotions and relationships. So let's forget about techniques and tricks and let's focus on attunement and building a real heart-to-heart -heart connection between you and your child. And from there everything else can flow.